Hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozuelo from Curval.com and uh, today is time again for DAX Fridays and we are going to talk about the function called values, the one with the S and the N, there are two, but this is values with S and I am going to use uh, as an example how to create dynamic titles and when to use values. And I have to say that I, I, I cannot believe that I haven't done this video before. I was actually looking for it uh, this week and I was absolutely sure that I have done it. And I looked and looked and I, I realized that I just did it on my mind, but I never <laughs> did it in life. So better late than never. Let's do this. Okay, so the reason why I will use uh, dynamic titles is because on this video where I explain how to create them, uh, Connor asked me, he said that he was uh, using the example that I had on the Rio Olympics and uh, he was getting repeated values all the time. So we're going to solve his problem and for that, we are going to explain and use the function values. So without any more delay, let's jump on it. Okay, so here we are in our Rio 2016 Olympic Games dashboard. If you don't know what it is, if you're new to the channel, this is a Power BI, this is a Power BI dashboard for beginners. I have a video on how to recreate the entire report. I will post a link on the description below in case you want to follow. But one of the things that I did was create dynamic titles. And what that is, is for example, if I choose here a sport, badminton, basketball, you see that the title changes accordingly. Now, one of the things that this specific title does not do is when you select two, it just gives you the first one. And the reason for that is the way that the title was created. You see it here. It says if the sports uh, column is filtered, then write total medal count for, and then here you have the first non-blank. So it actually ignores anything else besides the first one. And this is bad design really, so it shouldn't have been done like that. What we really want to do is concatenate if more values are selected. So let's change that first. We write concatenate and then here we need the table, which is the athlete tables, athlete medals. No, this is the sport, sorry. This is what we want to filter on. And now we, the concatenation is going to be done with a comma. So, so if I have chosen something here, concatenate whatever I chose, otherwise medal count by sport. Let's see this in action. And as you can see here, I'm getting the same behavior that Connor was asking me about. I am getting uh, repeats on, on it. And the reason for this is because Power BI is returning instead of a value, it's returning a table and it is actually concatenating anything that it finds there. And this is not what we want. Now let's go and look at what values is and does. So here we are at the Microsoft documentation for the function values. And what they say is that it returns a one column table that contains distinct values from the specified table or a column. I'm not going to into detail with these, we will do it in another video more advanced, but what is important here is that the duplicate values are removed and only unique values are returned. So it is like a distinct count basically. So it has a very easy syntax, you just put the table name or the column name and it returns a unique set of values, a unique value. 
So now that we know that, it sounds like a perfect function for us, right? So how do we do it? Okay, so we go in here and what we want is the unique values of the sports. Okay, so these will return just the value once and then you will concatenate it. You see? So values is a very, very, very useful function. Make sure you start using it. It's like really, really good. And now this is a little bit off topic. It does not have to do with values, but uh, I've got a question on, for example, if we go here and here again, we have a dynamic title. So this is, um, filtering by location. So you see, I pick it here and then it says total medal counts for Belgium. Awesome. And then somebody asked me, it's like, is it possible to filter by the stuff in the bar, in the bar chart? And the answer is yes. He asked me, is it possible to do it with hierarchy values on a bar chart? And I have not found a way to do it. So if you know, please let me know, but I'll show you how to do it using uh, these instead of a filter. So what we're going to do is we are going to take this one and just make a copy because we're going to modify it a little bit and I don't want you to watch me <laughs> type. So here's what we're going to do. We have medals and we have countries, continents. So is filter the medals columns in the athlete medals table. So if the medals has been filtered or in this case is and works too, but now country continent has been filtered. So if one has been filtered or the other has been filtered, then concatenate. No, we don't need to concatenate. We could do it, but we're going to, because this is a values tutorial. We were going to use values metal. Um, and values continent. Of course, we have to change the title. <laughs> Medals continent. And I forgot to close that down. So we put it in there and we test it and see what, well, this should probably be by metal location. So, so now when I click here, as you see, it filters correctly and I gold in Europe, bronze in Europe and so on and so forth. Now, if I go down one level, you know, these things are not filtered. So the, the title is not working. So perhaps I should have to think a little bit harder on how to do that if possible. If you have done it and you know how to do it, just let us know so I can do a video on it. But on the highest level, because they are filterable, so you can actually get the title working on it. So anything that is being filtered or cross filter, you can put on a um, title, dynamic title. So great.
So this is all for today. Uh, for me, it means the end of the Friday. For some of you, perhaps the beginning of the Friday. But either way, I hope you have a really nice weekend. If you like the video, please let me know by liking it or sharing it. If you have comments, questions, suggestions, let me know on the comment box or any of the social channels listed below. And the subscribe. I publish Power BI videos every week. Have a great, great weekend. Bye.